dear students already we have entered into the the last unit which is unit 6 prose the title of the prose is on the rule of the road in the last class we discussed how a pedestrian should follow the rules and ag gardener gave an example of a old lady who did not follow the rules she want to, she wanted to follow her wish ag gardener clearly explained what is the meaning of private liberty and how the private liberty should be used in social contact and and also we have discussed ag gardener's biography also we have discussed so in the in the last class we have discussed the two examples first example is the example of stout lady the second example is the policeman in the old in the first example old lady the stout old lady with the basket started walking in the middle of the street and she said that it is my liberty to walk where i like that is the first example we saw and another example we saw that a policeman controlling the traffic rules where in piccadilly circus so in piccadilly circus a policeman is controlling the traffic so in these two example what do we come to know we come to know that our private liberty had to be curtailed what do you mean by curtailed curtailed means reduce our private liberty has to be reduced okay we cannot behave where whatever we want in all the places our liberty is reduced in social contact that is what we saw in the last class okay and also we saw that when a private liberty extends to a certain limit and if it does not extend to a limit that will become universal chaos chaos means what confusion so like a policeman he, he has to control the private liberty of an individual then only everybody can travel in on the road so some people those who think that why the policeman has to control my liberty that is my liberty to walk where i like but we saw that there should there will be a social social enjoyment when a person follows the rule so that other person also will follow the same rule okay so that's what we saw in the last class and we saw the last point in the last class that is in matters which do not touch anybody else liberty of course i may be as free as i like i i can be free as i like when i do not touch anybody's liberty okay i should not disturb the others liberty so i can be free as i want when you do not disturb others but when you start disturbing others there is a problem arising okay and next uh, he says that if i choose okay to go down the road in dressing gown so now here after he is going to tell about a private liberty in the first part we saw how our private liberty should be in social contact in the next part in this in this uh, in the second class second part uh, ag gardener is going to explain what is private liberty and what the uh, what are the limitation to the liberty has to be there he is going to explain now so if i choose to go down the road in dressing gown who shall say me nay nay means already we saw in the poem okay the incident of the french camp nay means no i have a liberty to wear whatever the dress i want okay who shall say me nay who shall say me don't wear dress like a gown who can ask me so that's what he, he raises a question next he says you have a liberty to laugh at me suppose i have a liberty to wear whatever the dress i like 
Suppose I am liking to wear a gown, okay, who shall say no, you can wear. But what will happen when I go with the gown, people will laugh at me. But he says, but I have liberty to be indifferent to you. What do you mean by indifferent? Indifferent means unconcerned or not interest. Suppose I am going with a gown. Okay, with, oh, I want to wear a gown and I am wearing gown and going on the road. I have a liberty to wear that and you, the other people, those who see me, they have a liberty to laugh at me. That is their liberty. But my liberty, what is my liberty? That is indifferent, not caring about the laugh which others laugh at me. Okay, that is my liberty. Next what he says, if I have fancy for dyeing my hair or waxing my moustache. What do you mean by moustache? Okay. So usually we have, um, the man will have moustache below their nose. So this what do you mean by waxing? Waxing means it is used in western countries. Okay. To make their moustache in the end of the moustache. If they want to make their sharper, they use kind of a wax. They apply in the end of the moustache and they make the end to be to have a sharpness okay like a like a knife a sharpness in the in the end so what he says if i have a fancy what do you mean by fancy desire fancy means desire suppose if i have a desire for dyeing my hair that is my liberty next if uh, suppose I, if I, I want to wax my mustache to show my mustache a very sharper that is my liberty or wearing an overcoat okay wearing a overcoat that is my liberty suppose and sandals okay wearing a overcoat and sandals are my liberty that i can wear wherever i can or going to bed late or getting up early okay going to bed late night at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock that is my wish that is my liberty, that is my private liberty that I can go to bed very late or getting up early. I may get, I may get up early in the morning, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock. That is my wish. That is my liberty. So what is discussing here? I have a private liberty to do what I like. I have a liberty to wear gown. I can walk in the street. But you may, you may laugh at me. But who will say no to not wearing the gown? That is my wish. I will go. You will laugh. That is your liberty. But I have liberty not to care of what you laugh. That is my liberty. Next he says, I have a desire. If I have a desire, dyeing my hair. That is my desire. I will dye my hair or I will go without dyeing. That is my wish. Or I will wax my moustache. I will make both the end of the moustache very sharper using this wax, applying wax. That is my wish. Or wearing an overcoat and sandals. These are my wish. I will go late to the bed. That is also my wish. Or I will get up in the early in the morning. That is also my wish. So what is trying to say? I shall follow my fancy. Okay, I will follow my desire and ask no man's permission. I will not ask anybody's permission to follow my desire. That is, I will dye my hair, I will wax my moustache, I will wear overcoat, sandals or I will go to bed late or get up early in the morning. That is my desire and I will not ask anybody's permission. That is my wish. Next he says, I not enquiry of you, I shall not enquiry of you whether I may eat mustard with my mutton. I will not enquire you, en enquire means what? I will not ask you whether you may eat with the mustard with mutton. I will not bother about you what you eat. You may eat with mustard with mutton or mustard with the chicken, whatever you eat, I am I not bother about that. In the same way, I do not ask you question. In the same way, and you will not ask me, okay, and you will not ask me whether 
यू फॉलो दिस रिलीजियन और दट I do not ask you what you eat and how you eat and what you follow in the same way you also must not ask me what religion I follow I may follow the religion which I like or you may and you should not ask me whether you prefer Ella Wheeler Wilcox to Wordsworth or Champagne to Sandy so what he is saying i i am not bother about you you have your own liberty to do what you like in the same way i have a liberty to do what i like okay don't ask i do not ask you what you eat whether you eat with the mustard with the mutton okay i do not ask you in the same way you do not ask me what religion i follow don't tell me follow this religion that religion and don't tell me okay you you may prefer yellow wheeler will cox to wordsworth okay so don't tell me to don't tell me to replace yellow wheeler will will cox to wordsworth and don't tell me replace champagne to sandy what do you mean by sandy this is a sandy is a white okay it is a lemonade lemonade means it is a blend of grapes okay champagne what do you mean by champagne champagne means it is a white wine made up of blend of grapes and what do you mean by shandy shandy means a drink made by mixing beer and lemonade what do you mean by lemonade lemonade means lemon juice okay so don't tell me to replace champagne to shandy okay don't tell me i if i want to drink champagne that is white wine i will drink don't tell me you replace with the shandy which is a mixture of beer and lemonade and in all this okay in all these and a thousand other details you and i please ourselves okay and has no one's leave so the, like this thousand details are there to follow so don't tell me follow this one and that one okay don't tell me you do not ask anybody's permission to follow and i do not ask anybody's permission to follow okay so let us have a limitation he says the next point he feels that private liberty is like a whole kingdom okay we have a whole kingdom in which we rule alone so each person each individual is a, like a one kingdom we live alone in that kingdom can do what we choose we can do whatever we choose okay whether in the in the kingdom you if you want to be a wise you can be a wise wise means was very genius person if you want to be a ridiculous that is a comic person that is comedy person you can be or if you want to be a person of harsh or easy you can be and you may be a conventional or odd what will be conventional that is a normal person odd means what odd means strange or unusual so what he says we each individual is like a one kingdom in that kingdom we only live one person as a person we live alone and in that kingdom we can do whatever we want okay in that kingdom if you want to be a wise person you can be if you want to be a ridiculous ridiculous means a comic person you can be if you want to be a person of harsh very rude person you can be or if you want to be a very easy going you can be but other options also are there if you want to live a normal life you can be and if you want to live a very strange life unusual you can do whatever you want in your kingdom this kingdom refers to our life okay so but what he says but when we step out of that kingdom our personal liberty of action becomes qualified by other people's liberty so here you have to be very careful our own life that is our own kingdom when you step out of your kingdom 
you have to see other people's liberty also that's what he says but step out of that kingdom our personal liberty of action that is our personal liberty personal freedom becomes qualified by other people's liberty so our personal liberty is qualified by other people he says how it is qualified now let's come back go back to the uh, first part in the first part what did we see a old stout lady okay felt that she wants to be a free uh, uh, free so that he, she can walk anywhere on the road so she decided to walk in the middle of the road with her basket and she questions who can question me that is my liberty that i can walk anywhere i want okay so now let us take that example and fix it here what is that that old lady's kingdom is personal life okay she can do whatever she want as we saw, saw in this okay and but when she stepped out into the out of her kingdom that is she entered into the social contact she has to curtail she has to reduce her liberty then only her liberty is qualified by other people's liberty another example aj gardener is giving that is i might like to practice okay i might like to practice on the trombone from midnight till 3 in the morning what in by trombone this trombone is a musical instrument made up of brass so this this particular trombone belongs to the musical instrument family that is brass family okay you might have seen in the movies and all it is very long musical instrument made up of brass and in the end of the brass you will have a open okay like a open space will be there okay so this musical instrument is played by by blowing your air so when you blow your air okay so uh, uh, when you when you press the buttons there the music which you want it comes out that is called trombone now what she is giving a example for private liberty to be curtailed and how it is qualified by people's liberty is suppose if i might like to practice on the trombone i will practice midnight till 3 o'clock in the morning also that is my wish i will practice at whatever time i want okay so you should not question me you do not you should not uh, play the trombone in in this particular time and you have to play in the midnight or you have to play in the morning you should not tell me when i have to play that is my liberty that i may also play in the middle midnight till three o'clock in the morning also so you should not question me if i went on to the top of the everest okay if i went on to the top of the everest to do it to do it what to blow the trombone okay suppose if i want to play on the top of the everest i also will go and do it i will play even on the top of the everest if i want that is my personal liberty i could please myself okay i could please myself but okay if i do it in my bedroom my family object okay my family will object he says suppose if i want to play on the top of the everest i will go and i will play that is my personal liberty and if, if i want please myself if i want to be happy i also will do it in my bedroom but what happens if i blow the trombone in my bedroom my family members will object okay and if i do it out in the streets the neighbors will remind me that my family liberty blow to the trombone must not interfere there with their liberty to sleep in quiet so what he says in this if i want to play on the top of the everest i will go if i if i want to my if i want myself to be happy i will go and do it and if i want myself to be happy to play in my bedroom i will do it but what happened my family members will object to that 
if suppose if i want to do it in the streets i will go but what will happen my neighbors my neighbors will remind me that my liberty blow the trombone must not interfere their liberty to sleep in quiet so to sleep in quiet is their their liberty that is a neighbor's liberty to sleep in quiet okay so the my neighbors will remind me that you if you want to blow the trombone do not come to the street and blow the trombone okay so that's what they say next what happens so personal liberty is like a, there are a lot of people in the world and i have to accommodate my liberty to to their liberty so if you want to live happily in the society you have to accommodate their my liberty to their liberty what do you mean by accommodate accommodate means fit in accommodate means fit in suppose if you want to live happily in the society you have to give space for even for other liberty so that's what he gave a example here if you want to play a, 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 if you want to blow the tra trombone you can blow wherever you want okay but you should not disturb others that is family member will re object if they they play a trombone in the bedroom and if the if you he, he or she plays a uh, Uh, blows the trombone in the street neighbor will remind him please do not disturb us and disturb us or interfere our liberty in sleeping quiet so that's what he says we have to accommodate our liberty to the people those who live in the society and he says we are all liable to forget this what is liable to forget unfortunately we are much more we are much more conscious of the imperfections of others see it is an inbuilt quality of us that we usually do not look at the mistakes of ourselves we always look at the mistakes of others so that's what he says we are liable to forget liable means it is like a responsible that is we forget our own mistakes and unfortunately we always remember and very much conscious of the imperfections of others we always point out to the other people this is your mistake please don't do not do it okay so we always correct them we want to make the mistakes to to post on others we do not accept our own mistakes so that is what he says and in the last point he says it it is little habits of common place intercourse make that make up the great sum of life sweeten or make bitter the journey so what he says in the last point it is a little habits of common place intercourse that make a great sum of life and sweeten or make bitter journey so what he says here it is in our hand to make our own life whether it is a sweet or bitter journey okay so if you want to make a bitter uh, happy journey we have to give space for others we have to respect others liberty also that's why he says a little habits of common place intercourse what in by intercourse intercourse means dealing with others dealing with other people so we have to have a little habits of giving away our own liberty so that will make some of life that will make our life sweeten or make our bitter journey so when you follow when you give space for others it will be a sweetened life but if we do not give space for others it will become a bitter journey so what we should do we must follow the traffic rules okay we must follow the traffic rules when we uh, when we ride a bike or when we go when you drive a, uh, uh, when we drive car or when you drive bus or lorry or when we go by bicycle whatever may be the mode of the mode of journey you have to follow the traffic rules okay so overall what he says he says 
we must follow the role of the rule of the road we must follow the traffic rules that is one thing next thing private liberty what is private liberty what is individual liberty is clearly explained and the next is social contact what is this social con contact when we enter into the social we must reduce our personal liberty one thing and another he says we have personal liberty to do whatever we like there is a personal liberty for wearing dress whatever the dress we want and if we want to dye our hair we can do it waxing mustache wearing overcoat sandals are going to bed late getting up early we need not to ask anybody's permission and in the same manner i do not ask you what food you like whether you eat with the mustard uh, with the mutton i do not ask you in the same way you do not interfere in my details that whatever i like and you should not tell me you follow this religion that religion and replace ella wheeler wilcox to wordsworth drink uh, sandy to champagne so you should not instruct me i will follow my liberty when i uh, when i have uh, when i am in the kingdom that is a kingdom of being alone so i will be a wise or ridiculous or a horse or easy or conventional or odd whatever the wish or fancy i want to follow in the kingdom i will follow but once you come out of the kingdom that is when you come out of the kingdom means what when you come out of the society you have to follow the rules okay you have to follow the liberty of others also you have to curtail your private liberty in the social conduct okay and for that he gives the best example of blowing trombone you may be liking to play the trombone till 3 o'clock also but you, if you want to play the trombone in the everest you can do it but what you have to have a limitation if you want to play in your bedroom family members will object if you want to play in the street neighbor will object and they will say please do not disturb our sleep for this for overall he says accommodate your liberty to other liberty also and you should not also always look at the imperfection of others it is a we always forget okay so in the last uh, point what he says always have a habits of little habits of common place intercourse that is when you are in the common place when you are in the society please respect others liberty also so that your life will be sweetened otherwise your life journey will be will make a bitter journey for this overall what we have to do we have to have a uh, curtailment of our liberty and when you come out of the uh, street when you go on the road we have to follow the traffic rules okay so i hope you have understood the lesson